Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Denver, Colorado's blood incantation, hidden history of the human race. Available once more on cassette. Check out the band's Big Cartel page and snag yourself a copy of this analog masterwork. Yes, I can call Blood Incantation a masterwork because that's what Hidden History of the Human Race is. Like, coming off of Star Spawn, where do you go? Blood Incantation did not disappoint with their sophomore release, and I'm proud to say that one of the last shows I got to go to before the world, you know, did a complete 180 was Blood Incantation at St. Vitus with Artificial Brain and Dysrhythmia playing Hidden History in its entirety alongside Star Spawn, front to fucking back. Absolutely the best death metal show I've ever fucking been to. And I'll stand by that. Like, seriously, it was... There was something special in the air, and it wasn't the 17 degree weather, or the fact that I did a seven hour walk from the Chinatown bus, which technically wasn't Chinatown. It dropped me off in like Manhattan on like 41st Street by like Times Square and Madison Square Garden. Closer to Madison Square Garden, I walked from the garden to St. Vitus over the course of seven hours. Got there, sat at the Mexican joint next to St. Vitus until the boys pulled up, helped carry equipment in so I could get in early, and Zach was working the door, Shane was there. It was just a great fucking night, and, you know, I really, really just appreciate the boys coming all the way to the East Coast to play a fucking venue like St. Vitus and just, you know, do something special two nights in a row. I went the night that I really wanted to go for as I hadn't heard this in its entirety live. And it was just something that, you know, I didn't know when it was ever going to happen again. And now I really don't know if it will ever happen again because it would be great and I know this is putting a lot on the boys, but if Interdimensional Extinction, Star Spawn, and then Hidden History of the Human Race. But that's kind of what they did. On the second night, it was Hidden History of the Human Race, and then Interdimensional Extinction. I went on the night with Artificial Brain opening and Dysrhythmia, and Blood Incantation playing Hidden History and Star Spawn back to back. It was fucking spectacular. The best non-King Diamond metal show as well I've ever been to. So, hails to the fucking Masters Blood Incantation. And hails to Aaron at Goat Throne Records. And Mika Unholy, Unholy Designs. Because this release right here completely caught me off guard. Like, I loved the demo, but Pestilence and their full-length record Ilatik is so fucking insane. Holy shit. Eight tracks and 40 plus minutes of insane Spanish harsh black death metal that somehow oozes elements of sludge, doom, bestial savagery, and just some of the coolest, sickest, phlegm-soaked vocals you're gonna hear this side of Undergang. It is insane sounding. Like, I really, really wish there was a little bit more information with band members and all that type of stuff, but I'm pretty sure that Pestilence is a one-man project, but I am not entirely sure, so we're going to have to grab the demo real quick and check something.
because I think they might have a little bit more info. But I do love their sigil that Unholy Designs made up. I think it's fucking dope. Just like this fucking riff right here. But uh, let me see if this has any info of who played what. Nada. Fuck. But super, super sick. Fucking love their logo. If you can read that, you don't need glasses. But you're also probably very involved in death and black metal if you can read that logo. But I love it. And the cassette version is available on Goat Throne Records, the LP on fucking Kill Records. This probably sounds so awesome on vinyl. I love the cassette sound. It's fucking so savage sounding. And this is also my second favorite vocal release of the year. Like... Don't get me wrong, I have Black Curse on the turntable. Black Curse has my favorite vocals of 2020 so far. But right behind it at the moment is Pestilence. Holy shit are the vocals on here amazing. Like seriously, fucking amazing. They're inhuman, phlegm soaked, and just awesome. Like fucking awesome. It really, really reminds me if Cathelist took a shitload of DMT and were all roided up and then went into the recording studio. But instead of a murky style of production, went for a more like punch in the face style of production. The drums and vocals on here are super loud in the mix and they sound wonderful. Everything about this is fucking wonderful. At times, it kind of gets a little like, alright, the song could have been over by now, but at the end of the day, it's a long album. Like, you know, well, not long, it's kind of average, 40 40 minutes, to me, is the way a full length should be for a band like Pestilence. But it just has these hellish soundscapes that are mixed with these inhuman vocals. And it's just amazing stuff. And I fucking dig it. Killer riffs, nightmarish, yet essential listening in 2020 so far. Great artwork as well, due to Unholy Designs. Killing it here. And I've listened to this a bunch, and like, tracks like Filth Monolith, like... As soon as that track started, I legit was like... Whoa! Like, holy shit! I stopped, I stopped what I was doing, and just turned this the fuck up and sent it to pretty much all my friends on Instagram. I was like, yo, listen to this, and like sent them, you know, an Instagram video of the tunes, and yeah. Pestilence. Wow. Illatic, just absolute insane, harsh, black death metal. And I really love the fact that it oozes, like, doomy aspects and sludgy aspects and even fucking bestial war elements. It's fucking so gnarly sounding. And it's one of those releases that, you know, words don't give it justice. You need to hear it for yourself. And I can only lead you to the water. You have to drink it on your own accord. And that's your warning, because this is one of those releases that's just, like, seriously, a fucking ton of bricks. It's awesome. And I don't really know what else to even say about it besides, fuck yeah, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dying times here. 
So get in the Pestilent, Elotic, if you're into bands like Cathelist, Demilich, but at the same time, fucking, it has its own sound to it that I just can't put my finger on, but it is gnarly. And that's all you really need to know is, trust me, this is some of the most savage, insane sounding death metal out this year. But you're competing with bands like Black Curse that have Endless Wound, which is, again, it's so fucking insane. But this is a lot more insane sounding, honestly. It's just some of the way the songs are written are very chaotic and all over the place, where Black Curse kind of sticks to a certain formula, and it's a formula that, you know, if you're a fan of that style of music, you're very used to, where Pestilence go for a more experimental route of fucking savagery, but still make a very primitive sounding, yet fucking alien recording in their full length that is Elotic. It's fucking sick. And the cassette is available on Goat Throne Records. Like I said, I don't really know what else to say about this bad boy besides you need to listen to it for yourself. And hopefully you enjoy it as much as I did. And Goat Throne Records did the cassette version and fucking Kill Records is doing the LP. I don't know who's doing the CD version. I, I really don't. Maybe it's Iron Bonehead. I, I really don't know. I didn't look up. But I'll look it up for you ladies and gentlemen. And links are in the video description. Okay? I'm sorry I have to repeat that. But I've been answering comments. And people are like, hey, where's a link to the album? The links are always in the video description. So keep that in mind if you're wondering, like, where do I buy this at? I wouldn't leave y'all hanging, and links are always in the video description, along with a handwritten review, as well as what the label has to say about the band. So. There's always little aspects to these videos that some people miss. And I just want to throw that out there. That, you know, there is more than just me talking to you maniacs at home. And hopefully you've never heard Pestilence and you're about to get your fucking socks blown off by Elotic. Because it's one of those records cassettes, records, whatever you want to call it, that really, really deserves your full fucking attention. And if you have some psilocybin mushrooms, probably not a good time to take it with the, you know, gnarly virus going around outside. But if you have a babysitter, maybe take a little micro dose. I'm not encouraging that whatsoever. It's for educational purposes to really dive in to the music the same way you would dive into what we were blasting and that is blood incantation hidden history of the human race on dark descent records and century media europe these four gentlemen are the fucking best and you have Anti Bowman doing guest vocals on this track, by the way. But, Pestilence, Elotic on Goat Throne Records and fucking Kill Records. Get into this bad boy. It is awesome. And we're going to end this video with Anti Bowman doing some gutturals. So, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule! <laughs>
watching. Have a good day.